This is number 79 out of the second book of practical studies by Ketchel for trumpet. Uh, it was part of set three for Arkansas, all region and all state for trumpet. two lines, very rarely will you do anything over two lines. Uh, when, I would, when I practice this, what I would probably do is break this up into places that make sense. Um, changes in dynamics, uh, rest, uh, pretty simple uh, little nitties. I'm going to play what I think would probably be a pretty good tryout area. I'm going to start, um, I'm going to start in the middle of the second line of piano. And then I'm going to go on to the E flat in the third line, and I'm going to call that a tryout. something that or pick something that makes sense to stop at and sometimes they're going to purposely pick stuff that it may not make sense to start at um, maybe because they were in a hurry and maybe because they want to see what you were going to do with the music um, I'm gonna do something that doesn't make sense to me I'm gonna start at the piano in the third line and I'm gonna play all the way to that G flat in the fourth line and I'm going to show you what might not be a bad idea to do. Oh. Something like that. And obviously I made a mistake. Uh, when you're practicing these, these things, you want to practice, you don't have to practice the whole thing all the way through. Uh, if you're doing it for a tryout, you're never going to have to play the whole thing. Play chunks of it. Um, the little spot where I think, if I remember right, where I made the little mistake. If you make that mistake that I did. take you long at all. Uh, and if you notice, I did add dynamics uh, that weren't written in. Part of your score is a musicality score, uh, score. And what I look at is music is a paint by number set. So if I look at, at 79, I've got a paint by number set. If I play exactly what's written, I've played exactly what's written, but I may not necessarily have made music. Um, you can add things to this as long as they make sense. Now, on this one, I wouldn't slow down or speed up much at all. This needs to be fairly mechanical, unless, of course, you have some sort of odd ending or something like that. Uh, but you can add dynamics. Um, most of the time when I'm adding dynamics on this one, I'm crescendoing in from piano to mezzo forte. Um, I'm just going to start, I'm going to start at the very beginning and show you what I'm talking about. Now, did you do the dynamics written? 
Yes, you did. Okay, so what I played was right. I just added a little bit to that. Um, so when you're practicing this, try those things. Throw it past your band director. Um, you could do things that don't make sense. Okay, I'm going to do something that doesn't make sense to me at all. subtle at all. I did some sort of funky um, accents that were too hard at the beginning. Um, make sure everything everything is easy to understand what you're doing and the, mo the most important part is when a judge hears you they need to know that you're doing it on purpose and not as a mistake. Okay so you don't want to do something all of a sudden you want to gradually work into something uh, if you're going to do a dynamic change like that. So I hope this helped you out and good luck.